Hello there, welcome back. This is super early morning on a beautiful little beach in Mallorca. I mean, this is how small it is. That's it. But the other day when we came down, it was absolutely pounding. So what I'm hoping is, it'll have stirred up a lot of the stuff that might be lying in the sand down here. And I'm gonna go along the shoreline and in the shallow water with the ATX. Now the Garrett ATX is an absolute monster for the beach in the water, in the mineralized sand, near mineralized rocks. Picks out the signals really, really well. Big downfall is, hasn't got much of an iron discrimination, unless it's a huge hulking lump of iron. So we'll give it a go and see what we'll find. Hair slide from about ten inches. One cent. One cent. Okay, so we've got the ATX. We've got a sand scoop. That helps us to dig the sand out quickly, whether it's wet or dry. And also, give this a shake, sand drops out these holes, leaves us hopefully with our target, unless it's very small. And then it drops straight through here, which is a real, it's very irritating. I was gonna say it's a real bugger, but uh, people across the globe probably wouldn't understand what that means. It's, it's really irritating when you get a tiny little target, like the head of a nail, it drops out here and you just cannot find it. So, Got the Garrett AT Pro Pointer. What I'm doing basically is locating the target, pinpointing it as well as I can with the ATX, digging a hole, going in with this, and finding it pretty quickly. So far, we've only got a few coins. There will be gold on this beach. It's just potluck whether we find it or not. But the cold, hard fact of life is generally on a beach, you're digging loose change and rubbish. another 10 cents to put towards next year's holiday fund. That was about 10 or 11 inches. If I get a really deep one, I'll bring the camera in to let you see how deep it is. But this ATX really is deep on small targets. I mean, that's pretty small. It's about the size of, just a little bit bigger than a modern five pence, an English five pence. About as thick as well. And it could easily pick that up well over a foot deep with a booming signal. trash, there's tea lights, tops of bottles, ring pulls, a key. Basically it's all the stuff that I would have dug with a CTX or the E-Track in the search for gold. Unfortunately I haven't found any gold at all. Now luckily the good people of Mallorca have seen fit to put a bucket at the side of the beach for any plastic and muck that gets washed up, people can just put that in a bucket to keep the beach nice and clean. So all this stuff, all this waste, is going into the bucket. Okay, so onto the stuff that I was actually looking for. As I said, no gold, 
no silver. But what I did find is an assortment of Euro-based currency. And there's something that it looks a little bit like a Bitcoin. It isn't a Bitcoin, I think it's possibly Swedish. No, not Swedish. Swiss. Perhaps a Swiss coin. I don't know. And there's also an English 20 pence because Mallorca gets millions of English visitors every year. There you go. In total, 16 coins. Amounting to about 4 euros worth. That's not bad for an hour and a half scratching about on the beach. Before I go, I'm going to give you a rundown of what the ATX is all about, just for those of you who are unfamiliar with it. If you already know what the ATX can do, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. For those of you who are interested in learning more, please stay tuned. Okay, this is the ATX. It's manufactured by Garrett. And I bought this one from Regtons in the UK. It's got an 11 inch double D coil, fully waterproof, shock proof, and it's what's called a pulse induction metal detector. Now, as far as I know, there's three different types of detectors. There's single frequency detectors, which would include most of the Garrett's. Actually, the XP Deus could be described as a single frequency machine as well, because although you do have the option to change the frequency that it hunts at, at one time it can only hunt with one frequency. The next one you've got is Full Band Spectrum, FBS, I think that stands for Full Band Spectrum. That would be, I think, exclusive to the higher end Mine Lab machines. They hunt, oh, I can't remember what kilohertz it is, but it's a huge range of frequency that the coil puts out on the Mine Labs. And that allows it to read the soil very, very well. Gives you a lot of feedback to the LCD screen. Pulse induction machines don't give you as much feedback, although they do fire extremely high frequencies, really, really deep and fast into the ground. I can't remember exactly how many pulses per second there is, but it's a lot, a hell of a lot more than any of the other types. That allows you to get very, very deep in a range of conditions, including very mineralized soil and also seawater, but it comes at a cost. Iron recognition is always fairly bad. This does have an iron check button on it, but it's maybe 50-50. Big rusty lumps of iron, doesn't have a problem with those. But when you get to little nails and pieces of wire, it does struggle. But then again, the E-Track and the CTX, which are probably the best machines I've used so far, as far as feedback goes, I still dig the odd piece of iron with them. And when you see what I found on this hunt, I would have probably done all of that with the E-Track, the Deus, and the CTX. In fact, I probably would have struggled with the Deus because I did find some of those finds in deep, wet sand. And the Deus struggles there on the beach. Fine in dry sand, not so good in wet sand. With this, you can transition from dry sand to wet sand to in the water without altering a thing. It really is very, very stable. And today I was operating at 13 sensitivity, which is full without any problem whatsoever. Okay, the features of this are that it packs down very small, which is why I bring this particular one on holiday with me. It fits in a suitcase very, very nicely without having to break it down and then reassemble it. Waterproof fit in there for your headphones, although you don't have to wear headphones. It is courtesy to wear headphones, especially if you're on a public beach. Nobody wants to hear a machine wailing away. And I still can't believe that people don't wear headphones. Um, I don't know why, I always wear headphones. These particular ones are Grey Ghost Amphibian. Underwater headphones, very expensive, but very good. This runs on eight AA batteries. Really simple interface there, I won't go through that. Garrett videos will be able to show you exactly how this thing works, but I just want to explain the basic features. Packs up very, very small. It's made of almost like a, a ballistic nylon sort of material because it was originally developed for use by the US military for mine hunting. So it had to be robust, because I can't imagine those fellas taking very good care of their gear, just like the guys in the UK Army don't, unless it's a gun. 
seem to treat those with a lot of respect. Anything else just gets chucked about. This is designed to be chucked about and work in any environment. It's got three screw thread adjusters here and that allows the head to extend right out to about seven or eight feet. So when you're using it, you've got a massive arc of detection. And if you've noticed in this video, I wasn't using it with any strap. It does come with a strap, but for the short periods that I tend to hunt with this on beaches, I don't feel the need for a strap. So there you go. Waterproof, shockproof, weatherproof, US military proof, pulse induction metal detector. Very, very good for the beaches, although on UK beaches, I may prefer the CTX because of the fact that we have a nation of iron on our beaches. Here in Mallorca and on a lot of the Spanish islands, they just haven't got the rubbish that we've got. Not as far as like industrial, really old school 1700s and 1800 big lumps of iron go. You know, we've got stuff from centuries of industry and they just haven't had that. So I would tend to go for the CTX, although this lad will punch deeper than anything I've ever used, especially on well, I was going to say especially on small target, small target, big target, it doesn't matter. Punches deep, finds you what you want. So okay, that was just a little explanation of the ATX. I'm going to get back to my hotel now and have some breakfast because it's starting to get warm. As you can tell, I'm sweating already and it's only about 9 o'clock in the morning. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.